got a piece of paper. Got a piece now of paper. Now we trade the piece of paper for a car. That's right. We give two bullets and paper for a car. Yeah. That's really not. Listen to this baby girl with a little bit of load on her. Listen. And I'm gonna hold the camera in front of my face and hide behind it. Yo! What up, dude? What up, dude? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> what up, dude? Ha! Huh. My god, Hi. high school Gavin wow. is bad. Actually, you don't look that bad. Wow, that's not bad. <laughs> is that the first time you turn the camera around? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, last night, I, well, not last night, I guess, it's been two or three nights now. Uh, I shaved my face, and we recorded the whole entire thing. So, I just got out of the shower. <laughs> and for like the last few weeks I've been debating on shaving my face. It's been like four years since I've shaved my face, which has been like basically the entirety of this YouTube channel. Um, so I got some patches going on as you guys can see here. Over here there's like a few patches and whatever and I've just been getting tired of it. And uh, one of the best ways obviously to get rid of those is to just shave. So I've been debating on shaving for the longest time though kind of speed up that process is filling in some of these patchy areas that I've got left. I think I've just been debating on shaving and kind of hesitant because of the fact that I'm gonna look like a f***ing kid or a mole rat or something and I'm not looking forward to it. You can't leave me after I shave. I'm not gonna leave you. <laughs> you better not. Mm. Oh my god I can't. Okay yeah I did. I got you. Ah! <laughs> I'm so scared. Do you want me to do it? Oh my god. Oh no it's way too late now. <laughs> Oh yeah, yup. Definitely too fucking late. We're done. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> my girlfriend held me down and shaved my face. Okay. Holy shit. Oh my, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know? I don't know. I don't like it. Can we go back? Nope. <laughs> this is fucking weird. What in the hell? Oh no. Nope, yep, this is the worst decision ever. <laughs> my head looks so tiny now. I didn't realize my head was so tiny. I thought it had a giant face this whole time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you shouldn't tell anyone anything. I'm just like... <laughs> Show up. Dude, I look like a whole different person. This is freaking me out. I don't, like I don't want to look at myself anymore. I can't believe I did this like um, a day or two before having to upload another video. So I gotta go film a video like tomorrow and I'm just gonna be ball faced. I am sure that this is gonna go great for yeah. comments at least. This is how you get engagement back up on your channel whenever it starts slacking off. Daniel was right. I told Daniel that I was gonna shave and he was like, bro, be careful. You think that you're somebody till you shave your face and then you realize you really ain't shit. I was like, I don't think much. I'm shit because of my face. And man, I didn't know my self-confidence would go any lower. It did. Well, I'm gonna get dressed and fix my hair and I uh, will let you know how this goes. Maybe I'll recover it. Maybe it'll look good. Here we go, first baby face vlog. A few weeks ago, a few months ago actually at this point, I traded Jess's car for two jet skis. If you guys saw that video, it was pretty cool. Um, but today we are taking those two jet skis and we are going to trade them for, well, uh, uh, an another Mustang. Another another Shelby Mustang actually. So this is gonna be the fourth Shelby vehicle. <laughs> this is gonna be the fourth Shelby vehicle in the driveway and I have a two car garage. Seems logical, but anyway. This one is a really, really nice all white car. I am so pumped to show you guys it is so freaking clean. But first we gotta hook these jet skis up and get ready to go. Something just <laughs> feels different, you know, you shave your face and now we're gonna be going on all kinds of adventures. Feels yeah. Just like old times. I feel like, I feel like it was a transformation for me, really. I don't know, I have a whole different, have you, you should just shave your face bald, like bald face, razor, it's razor It's been a minute, thing. it's been a minute since I've done it. Dude. It makes you feel real different for some reason. Do you feel faster? I don't know, I think I feel more giddy and less caring. Okay, more giddy, less caring. All right. See, do, uh, see, do, leave, bye. Hey, you guys got matching jackets on today. Damn it, Daddy. Hell no, it'll be all right. That's why I'm thick. <laughs> let me see the, Shelby. let me see your socks. Another Mustang. Wow. Let's go with Doughboy socks. Yeah, I, that is plus 15 respect for you today. No beard and cool Kind of looking like a Doughboy look. Damn, dude. Calling right. my boy out. Call him Actually, out. I am going to need you to leave in a part where I was talking shit about how Gavin needs to fix his truck. His old girl, busted up mouth and shit. 
Gavin, fix your truck. <laughs> Dude, I do need to fix that truck. It's Instead, just got a nice. Spend the money to fix the truck on a GT500. Yeah. yeah. When in doubt, boy. Stonks. When in doubt. Buy another fucking Mustang. Before we get into today's video, I've got to let you guys know about today's sponsor that helps me, fortunately, keep this very fat pig fed every single day. Upside is a great free app that lets you get cash back on all of your regular purchases like gas, groceries, food, dining, pretty much everything. And in this case, like I said, gas. Prices for gas have been through the roof. And I know you guys could use cash back as much as I can, especially if you're gonna be filling up a car like this. Using the app is super simple. All you gotta do is check in where you're at, pump gas using your normal card, and that's it, cash back. Upside users are earning more than $1 million per week, which is probably why they have 4.8 stars on the App Store. And at any point, once you've accrued enough cash back that you're ready, you can cash it in for cash back to your bank account, PayPal, or even a gift card. Go download the Upside app for free on the App Store or Google Play Store. And if you use the code, it's just a six of your first purchase or $10 or more, you will get cash back of $5 or more. Thank you so much to Upside for sponsoring the gas for tonight's races. And with that being said, let's get back to the video. Yo, look at this nice fella coming to meet us out here to trade his car for our mini boat. Well, here you are, 2010 Shelby. Very nice for the year, especially. So is this a stock pulley? Do you know what's all done to it performance-wise? I figured that there was probably cat deletes and... It's cat delete. My buddy um, who has an 11 said it was a smaller upper pulley on it. We had, of course, emissions in this county, so we went and put high flow cats on it. I got you. Uh, well, we'll go ahead and go grab a check for you, and we'll be right back then. Thanks, guys. Two very boring minutes later. Got a piece of paper. Got a piece now of paper. Now we trade the piece of paper for a car. That's right. We give two bolts and paper for a car. Yeah. That's really not. We get a printer. More pieces of paper. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Climb aboard the cleanest freaking. I can't. Look at my salt in my this is the cleanest freaking i don't know what that is wow the radio is pretty cool this car is pretty damn nice the windows work what are we gonna do with this thing probably give it to somebody and make them really really happy so i don't know what we're gonna do with the car yet we're either gonna give this gt500 away and keep the red one or we're gonna give away the red gt500 dude this hood That's is massive. oh my god i can't even hardly see Dude, I'm so tiny. Look, this is my eye level right here. This is what I'm seeing. Wow. This thing is super easy to drive though. Brand new transmission that's in here. Oh yeah. The car itself has 60,000, but the transmission has a thousand miles. Nice. I've just never been in a car this year that had all this before. The last GT500 that we did was not anywhere near this nice. Yeah, I guess I didn't even say a year yet. This car is a 2010, which our last one was also the same body style, and this thing just looks so much better. baby girl with a little bit of load on her. Listen. Oh, that's too bad. It's definitely not the fastest car in the world by any means, but it is a ton of fun for like a little daily commuter. This thing is intensely fun, honestly. Sounds so good. Such a tiny blower on this car, but it still does good. And surprisingly, even I believe these cars are straight axle on the rear, but in turns, it doesn't do too bad either. Obviously, this car is aftermarket wheel and tire setup helps a lot with that, so I can't just say it's just the car, but so far, this car is much more impressive than our last one that we had. This is really, really sick. 10 out of 10. I love this thing so far.
Guys, we are pulling back up at the house with the new car. I'm sure our neighbors are gonna love this. We were pulling up with yet another Mustang. Hello. <laughs> we were talking about it on the way back home. We pretty much decided that in honor of our new song that dropped and being that this car is all white, we're gonna name this car Ghost. If you guys haven't heard me and Jess's new song Ghost, click up below and go check it out. It's out now on all streaming platforms, but I think that's what we're gonna go with. So we're gonna get out real quick, check this car out now that we're back home look it over and see what all is truly done to this car because in all honesty i don't even know all i did is i saw a gt500 on marketplace and i said hey bruda would you want to trade jet skis for that thing he said if you got some cash sure will and here we are so under the hood i'm still not exactly sure the guy said that it looked like they had an upgraded upper and i agree this pulley does look like it's been swapped out from the stock one at some point don't know the sizing on that so honestly i don't even know how much power that this car is truly making but with the intake the headers it runs really phenomenally so with my butt dyno i would say it's probably making 550 wheel horsepower we've got some pretty sick i think these are rohanas nope they're not these are gwg wheels what? I've never even heard of these wheels. They look pretty good. Got some Nitto NT555 five, five, five G2s on the back. Definitely need some new tail lights. The interior of this thing is so super clean. We've already got a short throw shifter in there, a brand new transmission and a new clutch as well. So overall, it's a super simple setup car, but it is a ton of fun. It's very well-rounded. Goodness, we got, we got so many things. Guys, if you have not seen the timeout video yet, I've got some exciting news for you. Speaking of all these cars being parked out here, no longer is that going to be an issue after March, I hope. If you guys missed the timeout video, we are moving into a new house. We finally are under contract with the just like, I don't even know. It is honestly like the pinnacle place. It is exactly what I've been looking for. It's a house much like the one that I live in. Only difference though is that it is on literally, no lie. Let me do the math in my head real quick. It is six times more land <laughs> and also it has a shop on it. So that is pretty freaking exciting. So all of these cars will be able to be easily housed. We'll have a two car garage up top in the normal and then underneath the house, there's like a basement area that you can park like three more cars. So and we have room in the shop technically with lifts. We'll have room for six vehicles. So once the truck and uh, our next giveaway car, which I'm not sure exactly what it is going to be yet. Honestly, looking around here, one of these cars is going to go along with the truck very soon. And then after that, we'll have two more spots freed up at the new house. So it's gonna be great by the time we move in. We'll have plenty of open space. We'll be rocking and rolling. It's gonna be awesome. So with that being said, guys, say hello to Ghost. This car is going to be freaking cool. I'm not even 100% positive of what I'm gonna do with it, but I really do kind of like the idea of wrapping it to match this truck. We'll see. Maybe it'll just stay all white. Maybe it'll turn a completely different color. Maybe we'll do it pink. Should we do this car pink? Pink? I don't know. <laughs> that or like what the truck is wrap the whole thing in satin white and do satin black stripes on it that way they would match yeah. two shelby's two four shelby's <laughs> well look who it is yeah so um we made it here in great timing i don't know what it is about this thing it's teleports or something it's much faster than the dually getting home look we have another parking spot where the truck's going <laughs> okay i was trying to say we have room for another car <laughs> Bye. We already have three other cars in Louisiana. Yeah, I know. Bye. Yeah, that new property is going to be packed, especially being that we've got the giant enclosed trailer and also the freaking gooseneck with the dyno and the lifts and everything on it that's still in trailer storage. We've got so much stuff to put in there. This truck needs to get fixed. Guys, if there is any body shops that would like to partner with us for any kind of promotional discount, hit me up. Anywhere around Atlanta, dude, we need to get this truck fixed so bad. I've got so many parts that are already in that could be just installed and it would make it so much better. I just need to get this damn thing done. It'd be super handy if one of you guys had a body shop and y'all were wanting to work together. I could send you guys some customers. So look, I got here and I parked it and I got out and I started thinking, wouldn't it be cool to wrap it the same as this? Yes. Satin actually, white with satin black stripes. Actually, yeah, that is exactly. Those two side by side would be pretty fucking hard. You put the OEM wheels back on this. Yeah, and I know. Get the wrap on that and then take pictures together. Yeah, that would, would be match great. way too well. Two Shelby's. And plus, whenever you film the car right now for some reason, it is so much white that look, just come look. You can't even tell that there's a hood hardly on the car. It's just like blown out. It is pretty white. Yeah. yeah. I'm like a Tyson. She's sucking me clean like a Dyson. Uh, I'm going back to my ways. Oh my Fuck it, I think that they like it. Hey. Rolling up. I like it. There's a door ding. Is it really? Yeah. I just saw it. Right there. Oh no, I see. 
I don't know when that happened. Pulling up all of my problems, smoking them down in the backwood. Pray to the heavenly Father, tell him that if I could change it, then I would.